Today we'll talk about Nipah virus. How you you get the disease and what are the preventive measures? Well, first of all, I tell you, don't get panic. Stay calm. Listen, higher authorities, and follow the instruction. I assure you, follow the preventive measures. You won't get the disease. So don't panic. What is Nipah virus? Nipah virus is a RNA virus which resides in the bat's body. and bats ejected it this virus through urine is stool and through saliva so whenever this bat tries to eat any fruit it injects its saliva into the fruit or when it tastes the toddy uh, so it injects the saliva into the toddy so whenever any animal eats the half bitten fruits get the infection how it comes to human being when these human being in the direct contact with the animal who is already infected with a uh, nipah virus or human being eats half bitten fruits drink toddy infected with a virus or it comes direct contact with the person already infected with the disease nipah virus disease when the person who is already got the disease sneeze it the virus goes so 1 meter distant you should maintain this is the mode of spread so what are the signs and symptoms of the disease how you know the, the person is going to get the disease the disease started with a common flu like symptoms like fever headache cough cold sneezing nasal discharge you will think that is just a common cold but no it is progress very fast next day the person will have disorientation breathing difficulty unconsciousness and leads into death so what are the preventive measures and what are the treatment uh, mortality i'll tell you about this virus very very contagious 90% very uh, progressive within 24 to 48 hours the person can go into coma and very high mortality that is some more than 70% treatment part is you give the symptomatic fever there is no specific treatment for fever you get paracetamol iv paracetamol you can use for anti uh, seizures you give anti epileptic drugs for encephalitis you give anti edema measures proper position and uh, for breathing difficulty you use ventilator for uh, myocarditis use use lasix or anti failure measures so these are the part are new drugs you they are talking about ribavirin chloroquine anti malarial drug and monoclonal antibodies so we have to depend upon the symptomatic treatment itself that's why i always say that prevention is the main best weapon how to prevent this avoid contact with the bat pigs and any person who is already got the disease wash all the fruits properly maintain personal hygiene and avoid eating half bitten fruits for the per- medical profession personals those who are treating the patients they should wear gloves they should wear mask they should wear goggles they should wear cap they should wear gown they should use hand sanitizers so washing hand again and again is the best prevention 